Hello everyone. My name is C. Neha Agarwal from BISP Solutions. And in today's video, I will tell you about how the enterprise is defined in the Oracle Fusion application. Before understanding how the enterprise is defined in the Oracle Fusion application, let us understand what is enterprise. An enterprise is a collection of legal entities sharing common control and management. Every enterprise has three fundamental structures, legal, managerial, and functional, that are used to describe its operations and provide a basis for reporting. In Oracle Fusion, these structures are implemented using chart of accounts and organizations hierarchies. Although many alternative hierarchies can be implemented and used for reporting, we are likely to have one primary structure that organizes our business into divisions, business units, and departments aligned by our strategic objectives. So this is how our enterprise structure looks alike. First comes the enterprise, then divisions, then the primary ledger, then the legal entities, and then business units and distribution centers. To understand more about the enterprise structure, you can refer our video on enterprise structure in Oracle Fusion Financials. Finding enterprise. When implementing Oracle Fusion applications, we operate within the context of an enterprise that has already been created in the application for us. There is only one enterprise which is created for the employee level data maintenance. This is either a predefined enterprise or an enterprise that has been created in the application by a system administrator. An enterprise organization captures the name of the deploying enterprise and the location of the headquarters. Means the enterprise maintains the detail of the client and their headquarter level information. In Oracle Fusion applications, an organization classified as an enterprise is defined before defining any other organizations in the human capital management common organization model. All other organizations are defined as belonging to an enterprise. So basically this means that enterprise is created by the human capital management before any other organization are created in the fusion applications. Now, for the non-SEM users or the financial consultant, what we can do? The managed enterprise SEM information task is there in the uh, Oracle Fusion which includes the default settings of our enterprise, such as the employment model, worker number generation, and many other employee level details. If we are not implementing Oracle Fusion human capital management, then the only action we may need to perform using this task is to change the enterprise name if there is any need of doing that, and the other settings are SEM specific and are not relevant outside the Oracle Fusion SEM. So as so hovering to our application, we can go to the setup and maintenance task. From here, we'll go to search option which is available in the task list over here we will search the task manage enterprise hcm information
under the stars we can see a uh, default details of the enterprise so the enterprise name is vision corporation and all the enterprise description other classifications like work day information enterprise information currency support information user and role provisioning information are mentioned and position synchronization configuration are already mentioned and whatever details are required are automatically filled what we can do is if we want to change any of the information we can go on the added tab and click on update clicking on okay we will see this all the options are enabled and we can change whatever we like say if time is pcs we can just remove the name at uh, vision and write the name pcs over here and we can also select the location by creating the location and selecting it through this location tab and we can mention the address of our headquarters over here then comes the work day information work day information is the information which provides the standard working time of that enterprise so work start time mentioned over here is 8:30 and work end time mentioned is 5:30 or uh the standard and the standard working hours on the weekly basis is 40 hours as per the client's information we can edit these details and fill them accordingly under the enterprise information worker number generation can also be done uh, and default values can be set over here say if we want to manage the worker number generation manually we can select the manual option from here if we don't want to generate any number of the workers we can click on not used if we want to create the number on the legal employer sequence we can you click on the automatic generation using legal employer sequence we can also create numbers by using automatic generation using global sequence what is the difference between these two if we we'll create the numbers through automatic generation using global sequences the number will be a unique number which will be used to identify that employee however if we create the number using legal employer sequence then for each legal employer there will be different numbers and if a employee moves from one legal entity to another legal entity of the same enterprise then it will be a tedious task to change the employee number however if the global sequencing is used the number will be same even if the employee is transferred from one uh, legal entity to another legal entity same way we can select the languages preferred person number generation and many other payroll payroll level details over here so mainly this is the task of human capital management team or the consultant to maintain the details however as a financial consultant you can change these information required by our client and we can just click on the submit button over here so this was all about the defining of enterprise thank you for watching